Welcome to Meet and Match Digital Platform Edition of Linea Pelle Fair. Hello, good morning, Shunshuo. Hello, Orieta. Hello, I'm pleased to have you here. Since you represent uh, Trend Zone Milan Design Center, tell me something more about it. Okay, now first of all, thank you, Orieta, for the invitation for the Meet and Match of Linea Pelle. And uh, I'm very happy to speak in name of Transzone Group. Um, we are a group um, based in Shanghai, and uh, we are uh, doing architecture design, interior design, urban design, but we are also working on constructions and the, um, uh, the manufacturers of products like doors and windows. So we are working, let's say, uh, 360 degrees on the part of real estate. The only thing that we don't do is real estate development. So actually, uh, I'm very happy to speak uh, with Lina Pelle because we work a lot with materials. And from this year, we opened our new office here in Milan called Transon Milan Design Center. And um, one of the main purpose is try to connect all the best resor uh, resources like designers, like products between Italy and China. So I hope, I think it's a, it's a good opportunity that we can speak each other, especially about materials. Great and wonderful. Let me say that I assume that you and your team are looking for material continuously. Mm -hmm. uh, wh what's going on now? What are you looking for? Maybe you can give us some example in your latest projects. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, well, let's say let, we can start with interior uh, environment because we're doing a lot of uh, projects of, uh, let's say, private apartment, houses or, or villas. Let's say that um, the, the trend of uh, the recent years is that people are getting more um, attention, careful about, about the sustainability and green concept especially um, in last year and this year during the COVID period, people spend more time at home. So the domestic environment is becoming even more important. So people want materials that can be very healthy and sustainable. So it doesn't um, give out, let's say, harmful materials. And people need these materials to be safe. So for example, if we talk about, um, if we talk about leather, if we talk about textiles, it has to be very safe and for their, for their health. This is one of the biggest uh, trend that we noticed from these years. And um, because we are also working on uh, architecture and uh, we're doing a research uh, in these years about the prefabrication. So actually um, this, I think, could be also a very interesting point for the materials because you know that in prefabrication, now we talk about prefabricated products, but in the future, we will also have, for example, the prefabric prefabricated homes that you can have your villa in the mountainside in one day. So it means that uh, everything, all of the materials, uh, including the metal components, including the textile, including the, the leathers, if we are going to use them, has to, have to be compatible for prefabrication. So it means that the materials has to be light, uh, has to be um, robust, has to be durable. So um, this, this is also something that we are very interested in. So um, what we hope that also from Lina Pelle, we will see some interesting materials for the future. Interesting insights because you're talking about sustainability, very well connected to authenticity, to durability. Mm. Which is the relation with the Italian supplier when you ask some material that it's uh, long lasting and maybe it's like, uh, give, me an, uh, give you an example, a natural uh, mm. vegetable tan leather, which can change with time. How can you combine these elements with a pre-fabricated uh, house? Because let's say, um, just now we have mentioned the concept of sustain sustainability. And um, the concept of sustainability, uh, sustainability, I think, is even more important 
when we talk about prefabrication. Because in a home which is not prefabricated, you can wait until the harmful materials all give away and then you come to live in. But in a prefabricated house, you, you can imagine that today I put, I put this house here and the next day, more, uh, very probably, I'm going to live inside. So this is something that uh, the customers will, um, will pay a great attention on it. So uh, when it's prefabricated and then the materials you used, you have to, you have to be very careful about it. And um, this is also the reason why we set up an uh, office here in Milan. Let's say that, um, apart, from that uh, apart from the fact that, that there's going to be a design studio, it's also going to be like a research center or let's say, um, let's say a purchase office that we will meet a lot of Italian excellent suppliers about new materials. I'll give you an example, let's say, um, let's take laminum. Uh, for example, because it was developed in Italy and it, was, it wasn't uh, accepted a lot in China. But in these years, people started to accept the concept of laminum, to accept it as a kind of artificial material which can be a good alternative for the natural materials like stones or marbles. Because um, when we talk about rain and sustainable, we have to keep in mind that, that the world is limited that one day we are going to run out of these materials, especially those kind of materials which is not renewable. For example, the world is running out of sand. That uh, someday we are, going, we are going to have no sand to use for the construction. And the same question for, uh, for marble. And um, so, mm, let's say, alternative mater materials that can be artificial, but in a way that ha can have the same characteristics can be a very good alternative for our future projects. And uh, very likely that uh, leather and um, textiles are renewable so that we can always have new materials, but we can have new technical uh, features in it. One of my latest questions, because it's so interesting to talk with you. What about touch feelings mm -hmm. and colors mm -hmm. that you are much more uh, keen to look at for mm -hmm. well it depends a lot on the on the taste of the clients because especially talking about interior design projects uh, a lot of, of, of our customers come from um, uh, let's say private uh, come for their private uh, apartment or for their villas so it's a very personal, um, a very personal taste. But uh, in general, I would say that the, the natural touch is very important for them because they have to understand that it's a, it's a material that can give you the feeling, for example, the warm feeling from the textiles. And then um, also talking about leather, you have to feel really these kind of, um, how, how can you say that, because uh, it, it, it's a, a material that you can feel that is natural because a lot of these customers, especially um, customers from a very high end, they, uh, they keep a very good attention on the natural materials. And um, in, in, the, in the same time, I think uh, talking about colors, uh, it changes also from the perspective of colors from different um, customers. For example, uh, a lot of um, Chinese customers in these years talk about the Morandi, Morandi colors. It's a concept from Italy because it's from the uh, from the painter Morandi, and because this concept is is coming is becoming very uh, accepted in China and is becoming very fashionable in China. So these years we have a lot of um, customers which ask us, "Do you have this kind of light gray?" this kind of light blue, which comes from Molendi palette. So this is a very interesting um, aspect that we are seeing. This is also a connection with, uh, between China and Italy. Wow, I didn't know, and this is really interesting. It's an interesting insight because the creative aspect of our supply, mm -hmm. suppliers is so important. 
uh, to be combined with the functionality and the authenticity and the sustainability. This is very true because, for example, talking about Morandi, even sometimes if I, if I take a dialogue with an Italian professional and professionist, sometimes they, they don't get the idea of Morandi because it's not that everyone knows about painting so much. But it's very interesting that the Chinese customers, even the normal customers, now they know the idea of Morandi uh, because it's, it's coming into fashion. This is a trend that we're noticing in the, in the recent years. Brilliant. I think, Sunshua, uh, we, we really said something that is super interesting. I want to keep in touch with all the team and with all the suppliers because this connection between these two countries is very important and i wish that for the near future we can also meet in person for sure <laughs> touch and smell and feel it and live with the material inside of your houses mm -hmm. thank you very much thank you Orieta. thank you